Guys, there's so much going on right now. Uh, today, the president of the United States was impeached. Over in Russia, Vladimir Putin is about to have his big year-end press conference. The movie Star Wars, Rise of Skywalker, comes out tomorrow. And a man at a Nashville airport got busted with 84 pounds of weed wrapped like Christmas presents. <laughs> there's a lot to go over. Let's just jump in and cover it all at once. It's time for a news smash. First, President Trump got impeached today, and he's not happy about it. He wrote an angry letter, sent hundreds of tweets, and shouted at his staff. He needs to chill out. <laughs> you know what's great for chilling out? Christmas weed. <laughs> 84 pounds of it was found wrapped like presents at the airport in Nashville. That's enough weed to get you really high. So high that you end up in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> The new Star Wars movie hits theaters tomorrow, and there are so many questions left to be answered. Will Luke come back? Will Kylo Ren win? Will Rey change course and cross over to the dark side? <laughs> tomorrow, Putin is holding his annual press conference where he talks to reporters for hours. But no matter what he does or says, there's no way he'll ever be impeached. Trump <laughs> is furious. He spent the day yelling at his staff and tweeting while he laid on the couch. If he's not careful, he could end up looking like Jabba the Hutt. Now that, that was a character. He loves sitting around all day eating snacks, kind of like someone who loves Christmas weed. You, when you get busted at the airport for your Christmas cheer, it, your Christmas cheer turns into Christmas fear. If you're a reporter in Russia, that's what you feel looking in Putin's eyes. Ask the wrong question and you could go missing. You could disappear just like Jar Jar Binks. He, he, we won't see him in the new movie and we won't see Baby Yoda either. And when fans find out there's no little baby Yoda, J.J. Abrams is going to get impeached. So, in conclusion, may the force be with you. May the Senate be with you. Don't worry, I'll be with you. May the 420 be with you. Thank you. Well, guys, today the House of Representatives officially voted to impeach President Trump. Of course, it's a dark stain on his legacy, but on the bright side, Trump finally managed to win a popular vote. <laughs> That's right, Trump's allies are worried that about the stain that will, the impeachment will leave on his legacy. Although, when a guy wears that much spray tan, I don't think he cares about the stains he leaves behind. <laughs> yep, today, Trump became the third U.S. president to be impeached. It was Bill Clinton in 1999, Andrew Johnson in 1868. And this is crazy, back in 1868, Andrew Johnson was also impeached for trying to dig up dirt on Joe Biden. Really? <laughs> yeah, what happened today is historic, and experts are saying that this is what we'll remember most about 2019. Then Americans are like, oh, come on, have you seen Baby Yoda? Come on. <laughs> but Democrats are saying that it's a sad day and that they're in mourning. Some members actually wore black while, out of respect, Chuck Schumer lowered his glasses even further down his nose. <laughs> Trump sent dozens of angry tweets all day, he even tweeted that Democrats are the ones breaking the law, writing, how can they do that too, and yet impeach a very successful Economy Plus president of the United States. <laughs> economy Plus? <laughs> you think Trump would at least refer to himself as business class? Yeah. <laughs> and this is everywhere. <laughs> I'm economy plus. So classy. I'll take it. I'll take an emergency exit row. There's more leg room. I need the tie room. Uh, this is everywhere. During the debate, a Republican congressman compared Trump to Jesus. I don't know. If Trump were Jesus, I'm pretty sure we'd have seen him turn water into Diet Coke already, right? Of course, last night, Trump also sent a six-page letter to Nancy Pelosi ranting about impeachment. Democrats and pretty much everything on his mind. And today he's even more upset because Nancy Pelosi just wrote back, K. <laughs> All day I saw that Mary Impeachmas was trending on Twitter. But to make sure everyone felt included, Democrats were also saying, Happy Donica. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, during the impeachment vote, Trump actually held a campaign rally in Michigan at the Kellogg Arena. You could tell Trump enjoyed the Kellogg Arena when he fired Rudy Giuliani and replaced him with the law firm of Snap, Crackle, and Pop. <laughs> I saw that someone in Ohio just won the $372 million Mega Millions jackpot. The winners thrilled while the guy who gave him the ticket for Secret Santa just walked into the ocean. <laughs> and finally, I read that kids are now using money apps instead of piggy banks. Money apps. It's going to get weirder when kids tell the tooth fairy, just Venmo me. <laughs> Guys, we have a great show!
on and on and on. Uh, I said, and it's on and on and on.